Hi guys, this is gsno.com and I'm here with a rugged phone, the CAT S52. It's time for an unboxing. So CAT went ahead and did a more elegant phone. That's the core idea here. Usually they had phones which you can take to the oil rig, to the mines or to the forest where you're chopping wood. This one you can also take to the bar and the movies after you're done chopping wood and mining. I've already played with it for a few days and now it's time for the unboxing. The price should be around $600, maybe even more. As you know, rugged phones are a bit on the expensive side. But this one is more because it's more elegant than usual. Cat S52. The first cat phone with a fingerprint scanner at the back side. The first cat phone to also try and look more elegant. Okay, so it's an unboxing. Let's see what's inside the box. Things are not complicated here. You get the warranty and you get a quick start guide. Nothing fancy, nothing out of the ordinary. And then we find a hefty charger. Okay, uh, not... Uh, oh, I thought there weren't any inscriptions. I can see here that we get uh, 5 or 8 volt, 2 amperes or 8.5 volt, 10 volt, 1.7 amperes or even uh, 10.5 volt, 12 volt with 1.5 amperes. Sounds like fast charging to me. And then we find a cable of the USB type C variety to type A, which you can use to hook up the phone to the charger and also to the PC. I think we're done. No headphones here and obviously no case because the phone itself has a bit of a case applied to the backside. Why am I saying that? Because the backside is covered with TPU and TPU is usually the material that protective cases are made of. As you can see it has a dual texture here. Uh, it's uh, got lines at the bottom and it's softer touch at the top side. It's got an aluminum frame with the power button which has this extra ridges so you can feel it properly while you're gripping for it in the dark maybe. Well other than that it's been tested and tested again for resilience. Uh, drops on concrete from 1.5 meters, that's one test, and water dunking. Up front we have a Gorilla Glass 6 protection, but this protection is thicker than any other phone on the market. Also 9.7 millimeters in thickness, by rugged phone standards, it's slim. And also 210 grams of weight. IP68 certified, military standard 810G, and also it can be sunk in water up to 1.5 meters, uh, for 35 minutes and it should be alive afterwards. The screen you're seeing here, it's an IPS LCD, which is quite bright. I'm going to turn it down a bit. So IPS LCD, that's what we're dealing with here. And uh, six, excuse me, 5.65 inch diagonal and the resolution of 1440 over 720 pixel with an 18 to nine aspect. Inside we find a MediaTek processor, it's the MediaTek Helio P35 Octa-Core 2.3 GHz accompanied by 4 GB of RAM, 64 GB of storage plus micro SD card slot. The battery is a 3100 mAh unit with fast charge and up to 28 days of usage in standby mode. We're running on Android Pie. We should get Android 10 as soon as possible. Now, uh, at the front side, what we have here is an 8 megapixel camera for the selfies next to the earpiece. And at the back side, we find a singular camera with a rather large sensor and LED flash below it. This one is a 12 megapixel shooter and it's got the same sensor as the Google Pixel 4. No small feat. Dual pixel uh, face detection autofocus, full HD video capture, f1.8 aperture, and then we find the USB C port at the bottom, speaker here, audio jack, and a microphone. And keep in mind, these ports, even though exposed, they've been waterproofed in spite of not having lids. On the side, you do find the lid, this one that covers the tray for the micro SD and the nano SIM card slot. As you can see, there are screws here, making it all bolted shut together, tight, rugged phone. And uh, we also should have FM radio on board, just in case you're wondering. On the connectivity front, there's Wi-Fi dual band, there's a nano SIM card slot, there's GPS, GLONASS and Beidou. Bluetooth, Bluetooth is also available and that's about it. They also throw in a toolbox with some useful tools for the rugged man or woman using this phone out there. You got weather apps, you got fishing apps, you got uh, um, apps related to cycling and many, many more and some even to farming.
The phone can also take thermal shock, minus 30 degrees Celsius up to plus 65 degrees Celsius. It can take vibrations, it can take humidity, salt mist, and that's about it. So, aluminum Gorilla Glass 6 and TPU make a good team for an elegant and rugged Cat S62. Uh, excuse me, Cat S52. That's the name, Cat S52. And the camera interface is one of the most minimalistic and straightforward ones I've seen. There's basically photo, portrait, and video. And that's it. Simple, straightforward, no BS, no extra options, just the core necessary. And even though it's a 210 gram phone, doesn't feel as heavy as you'd expect. That's one of my first impressions. We'll be back with a full review very soon. Maybe we're also going to torture it. Not sure. I guess you'll have to wait and see. This is it from gsnom.com. Cat S52 unboxed. Bye-bye.